Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 Before You Buy video. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the Shadow Prime bundle, uh, which includes a skin for the Combat Dagger, which one we can see right here. Uh, then we got the Blackbird Paint for the Super Sledge. We can see the skin right here. And we got the actual Power Armor skin as well, which is called the Shadow Prime Power Armor, which I do not own, but I will now. <laughs> And I'm gonna show it to you all so let's stop wasting time and jump right into it All right, so let's begin with the shadow prime power armor skin So according to the explanation uh, to this skin we can see that this skin can be applied on the excavator power armor on the Rider power armor. I mean sorry Raider T45 T51 T60 ultra side and X01 well, you can also actually apply it to uh Hellcat or Hellcat, Hellcat, Hellcat. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a power armor user, so I don't remember them all off by heart. So this is my uh, Hellcat power armor. As you can see, I was able to apply uh, the skin to this power armor, which means basically Bethesda needs to improve on their product descriptions. But anyway, uh, let me get into this power armor so we can see it better. On third person, then we're gonna do a little lookout in the first person. Just to make sure that nothing is blocking, but according to this power armor, it looks like nothing is blocking. So here we go. We are inside. Let's take a look on the third person. I'm gonna try to do it as fast as possible. I mean the review. So you don't have to spend a lot of time watching this video. Alright, so yeah, I mean hell yeah, it does look good visually very good I know that there is another version of the same type of power armor but I don't recall uh, what's the difference between this one and the other one so let us turn on the light we can see the light turns on right here and makes it red color glowing so that looks freaking dope I gotta tell you it really looks nice so now we're gonna turn it off turn it on turn it off turn it on cool huh all right Let's go first person mode. As we can see, nothing is blocking, so all we are all good. And uh, probably the final thing to to show you is basically how it's gonna look on the stand, just in case if you are gonna be wondering. And we're gonna call it a day for this power armor. So there we go. Not bad. Definitely one of the good skins for the power armor. Uh, for the power armor, yeah. So. Definitely, I would recommend this one. I actually like this one. Let's move on to the next item. Alright, so the next item will be the... Uh, well, in the description in the bundle, it says Black Combat Dagger for the combat uh, knife skin. Uh, but in the game, it's called the Blackened uh, Combat Dagger. I did kind of take a look on the skins and all, and they do look similar. Besides, I don't have any other Black Daggers in my arsenal and this is the only one so I would assume I'm showing the correct one this is once again where I'm bringing it to you that they really really need to do something with the item naming and the diff and the product explanation and stuff like that because this is uh, well <laughs> since we have a lot of different names for all the stuff I mean uh, so we don't get mixed up you know so basically that's the dagger right there really, really quickly rename it we're gonna take a look on how it looks on the third person first person uh, while on character and then I'm gonna show you which of the display cases uh, you can use in order to display the skin if you feel like display so yeah I mean the, the, the black deck here really looks nice I, I personally really love all dark colors and stuff like that especially it looks good with my current outfit really really nice so uh, I think from third person is more than enough. I mean, it's just a knife, right? There we go. The knife we can see it right here. Yeah. So um, slash little pig, man. So <laughs> anyway, that's about it. Now, in regards to the display cases, the current dagger works with this display case and this display case. So let me quickly show it to you right here. So I renamed it specifically zero, so I can easily find it. We can see it gets the place placed over there although I don't I have no idea why it's not working here it would really actually look a lot better if we were able to display that thing here uh, but uh, it is what it is so as you can see over here uh, we are not able to display it it doesn't even show up 
But we can do that right here and boom. And to my surprise, it actually looks good on the display case, but because it's, you know, black, very dark, it's very hard to see it on this specific display. So uh, I wouldn't <laughs> recommend displaying a dagger on this one thing. But then again, this thing is so big, right? Why not allow us to display it here? Would be would make more, more sense, right? I mean, there we go. And uh, that's pretty much it for the dagger. Let's move on to the next item. All right, the next item on our menu is the Blackbird skin for the Super Sledge. A uh, very old skin, but back in the day, it was one of the top skins that everybody wanted because it really looks nice. You gotta admit, like no comments here. It's just this thing is still looking dope and amazing, right? So it is what it is. Here you go, ladies and gents. Love it. So let's take a look at the first person view. Oh, definitely. Oh. I feel like Hercules, <laughs> but there you go. I mean, that's more than enough. Let's go third person real quick. Third person also looks good, right? Look at that. Oh, it actually looks even better with my outfit. Look. Yeah, that's good. My current outfit is a Blood Eagle uh, outfit. I do not remember where I got it. I think one of the seasons or something. I don't remember buying it off of the Atomic Shop, so I do have that in mind. Uh, but if you know where you, this outfit came in, please do comment down below and uh, the best comment in regards to how to acquire this outfit, I will pin it. So your comment can be pinned. Be the first. Alright, so uh, that's uh, pretty much it. I think you have a great picture with the third person view. Now where does this thing, where you can place it? Then again, you can place it once again on this one or this one. Yeah, I actually forgot to check this one. Yeah, well, this one only for heavy weapons, so it makes sense. So there we go. Hey, where'd you go? All oh, right, hold on. It's gonna take me super long in order to find where button is going, so I'm just gonna put this digit one. I'll make it a lot easier. Boom. So boom. Obviously, looks a lot better than the knife because it's uh, bigger. Yeah, looks good. But if it would be centered, it would be even better. But anyway, it is what it is. And the final place where it works is here. So, boom. Still, I would recommend the default weapon display because uh, since the skin is dark, right? Uh, well, I don't know. I, I would, I would personally, I will personally display it on this one once I build my weapon display camp. But it is what it is, and there we go. So. That's uh, pretty much it for this skin as well. Alright, so this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to smash that like. Comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them. Nobody can read them. Nobody can respond to them. So do have that in mind. If you're new and subscribed, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. Once again, thanks all for watching this video. And I'll see you on the next one. And by the way, as of recording this video, which is the 17th of December 2022, there's still a war going on in Ukraine. So if you're open to any charity, I will share two different links, which will lead you to two different funds created by the NBU, which stands for the National Bank of Ukraine. One fund is for military and the other fund is for humanitarian. So if you're able to help, help out, use any of those two links. And uh, once again, thank you for all the support and love. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.